Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the introduction to deep submicron digital IC design. Here we have uh, uh, the next uh, introduction to deep submicron digital IC design. Okay. So here generally uh, what is introduction to deep submicron digital IC design means here I am going to explain how uh, the IC design transformation is taking place or we can also say that how uh, the levels of integration that is taking place in the IC design and at the same time what are the sizes of uh, uh, these ICs and what are the number of transistors that are placed the increasing in the number of transistors that are placed uh, uh, on the silicon device or silicon area okay all those things we can see here in this introduction to deep submicron digital IC design okay so here generally inside the general purpose electronic systems such as personal computers or cellular phones we may find numerous uh, integrated circuits placed together with the discrete components on a printed circuit board so if you if you observe any mobile or a personal computer or laptop or any electronic device so here we require the ic to work okay so and at the same time those ic with including with those ic's uh, we have different discrete components also connected right so that is what here we have generally in our all the electronic systems okay the main core consists of uh, uh, a microprocessor considered as the art of the system that includes several millions of transistors on a single chip okay so on the single chip if you consider a microprocessor okay so this is the art of say, any system here okay in electronics uh, uh, heart of the system is microprocessor right it consists of uh, several millions of transistors on a single chip we will see one by one how this transformation will take place okay how this increasing in the transistors will take place on a single silicon layer okay the first for, uh, the push for smaller size reduced power supply consumption and enhancement of uh, services has resulted in continuous technological advantages with possibility for ev uh, ever higher integration okay day by day what happened here the requirement of small size and at the same time power dissipation is also small and at the same time more services will be provided with small area and small power consumption this requirement is growing uh, 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 gradually year by year and depending on that uh, the integration the levels of integration is also increasing here in the ic technology okay the active part of the integrated circuit is only a very thin portion of the silicon die whatever the whatever the ic design so finally what we require is nothing but a silicon die or a silicon wafer okay so uh, that silicon wafer on that silicon wafer uh, we will form our transistors right inside the electronic equipment uh, we may see integrated circuits and passive elements sharing the same printed circuit board one centimeter square so here uh, i have uh, uh, the different diagrams uh, we have here right okay so here how uh, this uh, uh, sizes will be reduced how these sizes will be reduced we can see here uh, 10 centimeters first after that it is one centimeter and uh, next one millimeter and 100 micrometer and 10 micrometer one micrometer and 100 nanometers and now it is 10 nanometers so like that there will be a decreasing in the size okay uh, even in uh, in terms of uh, uh, connections interconnections or in terms of uh, transistor sizes this will be reduced nowadays in our uh, mobile phones it is 7 nanometer technology we are using so already it is 10 nanometer so if you observe any mobile uh, uh, technology uh, or if you ob observe any mobile properties or uh, uh, if you open that uh, this phone properties like that you will have okay suppose if you consider any phone okay in that one they will clearly give how much uh, which technology they are going to implement or they are uh, uh, implemented that is nothing but uh, presently uh, we are having the mobile phones of uh, 7 nanometer technology okay seven nanometer technology and at the same time the next uh, the coming one is the five nanometer technology like that the sizes of the transistor is also reduces uh, because of the uh, requirements 
okay because of the requirements that is of uh, less area or less size uh, uh, less size means if you decreases the size of the transistor then only we will get the chip size is very less okay that's why here the transformation is taking place like this 10 centimeters to now it is 7 nanometers and this one is here 10 nanometer and we have uh, presently we have in mobiles uh, that is 7 nanometer technology we are going to use okay so that's what here wire connections between the package and the die is 1 millimeter square millimeter scale and input and output sub, uh, structures of the integrator circuit is 100 micrometer scale the integrator circuit layout is of 10 micrometer a, a vertical cross section of the process revealing a complex stack of layers and uh, insulators 1 micrometer scale the active device itself called as mass transistors so here in present day we are going 7 nanometer technology mass transistors here like this the transformation of sizes will be taking place uh, in this uh, ic technology right so here we have uh, some uh, uh, how uh, this intel processor and at the same time how the memories will be transformed from a uh, small uh, number of transistors into uh, lakhs and billions of transistors that are placed on the chip okay so below figure describes the evolution of the complexity of Intel microprocessors in terms of number of devices on the chip. Okay, the Pentium 4 processor produced in 2003 included about 50 billion. Okay, so uh, this one mass devices integrated on a single piece of silicon no larger than 2 by 2 centimeters. On this 2 by 2 centimeter silicon area, this much of transistors are placed. Okay, so the power of 10, that is the new uh, or the latest uh, 10th generation Intel Core processor, it has uh, uh, placed 50 million dollars, 50 billion uh, transistors that are placed. Okay, so that's what, how uh, the transformation is taking place. The ICs will increase, right? Uh, here, if you observe this one from 82 to 2004, here it is given. So that is... Uh, uh, of 64 bits up to this one it is the microprocessor is 8086 80286 80386 uh, next 80486 uh, pentium pentium 2 and pentium 3 and pentium 4 and now itanium is there so like this here as the days goes on as the years goes on the number of transistors uh, placed on the silicon area that is uh, 2 by 2 centimeters will be increased like this okay at the starting point in 82, 1982, it is 10K. Okay, now it is 85, uh, it is 100K. 89, it is 1 mega, 100, 10 power 6. Uh, that means 10 power 6. And 92, 10 power uh, 10 mega. And uh, in 95, uh, 100 mega. Up to this point, it is the 32-bit uh, processors, microprocessors. But after this one, 2001, so we got 64-bit uh, a processor and at the same time one giga one giga number of devices are placed on the silicon area like that here also we have the increasing in the memory sizes is also takes place okay so this is about uh, uh, how the intel uh, processors the transfer transformation is taking place that is the number how this number of transistors on the chip will be increased okay so that is what here we can also ha have latest uh, uh, we have 54 billion ma MOSFETs uh, are placed on the silicon die manufactured by uh, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company with 7 nanometer process. Okay, so the latest one is this one. So the latest processor that is prepared by uh, this Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company is of 7 nanometers with 54 billion MOSFETs. Okay, 54 billion MOSFETs. And now here we have, you can observe this one here, Moore law, Moore's law describes uh, empirical regularity that the number of transistors are integrated circuits double approximately for every two years. This advancement is impo important as other aspects, uh, technological progress such as uh, processing speed or the price of the electron products. Okay, so if you observe, you can have at the starting from Intel 404, Intel 808 in 1970s. Okay, it started with 1970s in the 2018. So it reached to the 50 billion transistors. Okay, 50 billion transistors or devices are placed on the silicon area. Okay, 
silicon uh, area or silicon dye. Okay, so these are the all the process for different companies also. We have Pentium that is uh, from Intel. Intel processor we have, and at the same time uh, we can also uh, have AMD processors in computers. Okay, so like that uh, uh, we have different microprocessors here. We have and on all those microprocessors. Uh, presently we are placing uh, a 50 billion transistors on a single chip this is the ad advancement or transmission of uh, transformation of uh, this ic technology latestly uh, we have 54 billion mosfets manufacturing using tsmc that is uh, taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company is produced with 7 nanometer technology okay so this is what we have uh, uh, how this uh, ic design will transformed in the time in the in terms of integrated levels integration levels okay we consider four main generations of integrated circuit technologies that is micron and sub -mic submicron and deep submicron and ultra deep submicron technologies we have so here we can have in micron technology that is uh, taken place uh, uh, at 83 okay 1983 83 and we have uh, uh, around uh, 1995 we got the submicron and again we have deep submicron uh, technology and ultra deep submicron technology okay in submicron era started in 1990s with 0.8 micrometer technology not nanometer it is started with 0.8 micrometer technology and the deep submicron technology started in 1995 with the introduction of lithography better than 0.3 micrometers okay and next one is what ultra deep submicron technology uh, here it is 0.1 micrometer uh, technology that is used in 2007 the lithography is decreases down to 0.07 micrometer technology so like that now what we are using is nothing but it is 7 nanometer technology not micrometer it is 7 nanometer technology we are going to use uh, to implement our uh, uh different electronic circuits or integrated circuits the lithography expressed in micrometers corresponds to the smallest pattern that can be implemented on the surface of the integrated circuits okay so that is the size of uh, uh, uh this submicron and deep submicron process okay so you can observe clearly as this is going with the uh, uh, years are going the sizes will be reduced okay 1990.8 micrometer 95 it is 0 0.3 and now in 2021 it is 7 nanometer and uh, the 5 nanometer is also coming soon okay so this is how uh, the deep submicron digital ic design will transformed okay the transformation is taking like uh, taking place like this this is about the introduction to the deep submicron digital ic design Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel.